Hi, second graders. Today we're going to be combining our portrait with our Kehinde Wiley inspired printed background. So we are going to put them together in our own creative way. Um, we're still going to be using our color scheme that we created um, in the background. So mine was orange, yellow, blue, and a little bit of green. And then we're going to be matting our um, portrait, which is giving it a border and to make it look nice and complete. And that will also give it some dist distinction from the background. Another way we're going to give it distinction from the background and reuse the material is we're going to be using bottle caps to um, elevate our portrait out a little bit um, to give it a little bit of dimension. So. Um, our theme this year was reduce, reuse, recycle. So most of these caps came right from the cafeteria. It's important to think about what we can always reuse in the art room because trash is so um, immense and enormous amounts of trash in the world and in the school and many places. Um, so when you can create something out of that, um, you're not only saving art materials, but you're also saving money, um, saving these from ending up um, in a trash can or a landfill, um, unless you are going to recycle them. Um, and there's a lot of these. We got, we use, you know, 500 or, you know, 400 a day in the cafeteria. So first you're going to um, decide on a layer to surround yourself as a border in your portrait. So I got my colors here, green, orange, blue, and yellow. Think about um, which color is most important to you. I'm going to think about which color is in my background, but maybe there's not enough of. For example, if I do green, there's already a lot of that. I think there's, I don't want it to be too much green. So I'm going to say, oh, you know, there's blue, but not that much of it. So I'm going to get blue because it's already an accent color or a detail color, but I want to enhance that. So contrast. I'm going to start by... Gluing my work to the first layer, get one layer at a time from the front of the room. I'm now going to, before I forget, don't forget at the end of class to make sure your name's on the back of your finished work. Because once you glue it, it's not going to really be there. I'm going to carefully, see how I'm just barely letting the glue come out? You're not going to squirt glue all over. Why? If you get glue all over the place, it's going to ruin your portrait. Glue and soft pastel don't mix well. You really don't want to get glue on your hands and get it all over the portrait. I've seen some people doing that already through this process. So I'm going to flip this over. Now I want to stick it in the corner of the paper to conserve paper. And also because then I don't have to do as much cutting. So I'm going to find the edge. And I want there to be a little bit of an edge there around myself when I glue it down on either side. Make sure your portrait was first cut out. Then I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut a little slim border around myself. Not cutting it all the way out, but I'm going to cut a little slim border around myself. Make sure it's first fully down. Be careful not to smudge your portrait in this project. You guys did so well with those. And be careful. Oh, see, my hands were a little dirty there. Um, be careful not to. If your hands get dirty, you can quickly rinse them at the sink if you need to so that it doesn't ruin your portrait. Just be careful not to touch your portrait while you're cutting it so it doesn't get ruined. So I'm going to carefully trim this out. I'm not cutting around the portrait. I'm leaving a border. I'll show you in a second. Cutting, cutting, cutting. I only had to cut through two sides because I glued it to the bottom edge with a border already. So you can see that now it has a little border around it all the way around the portrait, a little border. Now what we're going to do next is figure out a next color. So you can look at your background and say, okay, the blue is good. What's another color that I need more of? Green, again, is already happening a lot. What's another color that there's a little bit of, but maybe I could use a little more of? If you said orange and yellow in your mind, or to me, you're right, or maybe dark blue. So I have orange and yellow here. I'm now going to get my orange. Now, you also want to think of contrast between the layers. If I did a dark blue next, you might not be able to determine them next to each other. You want to think of contrast between the layers. This orange and 
blue are honestly both dark. I'm thinking it might look better if I do yellow next, just because they'll contrast a little more. All right, so I'm gonna take my glue. Once I go up to the front and get my second layer, do a slim border. You don't need to, first of all, waste the glue. And the glue, if it gets everywhere, is going to make a huge mess. So you can do a border, maybe a tiny bit in the center just to keep it down, but we don't need to put glue all over the place because then it's gonna get everywhere. You wanna be really careful to not get glue all over the place. We're trying to make the work look nicer, not messier. So now I'm gonna cut a slim border around my work and my color scheme. I'm cutting fast so that you have more art time. And because I have a lot of practice cutting, you need to cut slow and take your time so that it's nice. Like I was rushing, this side looks messy. So take your time, don't rush. Now I'm gonna do my last layer. I can look at it and think about what color would work best next. So that's okay, here we go. And I'm thinking orange will be a good final layer. Let's see what green would do. Mm -hmm. Green would be okay too. I'm thinking maybe orange, okay. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a border of That, maybe a little bit in the middle, but not too much glue, just squeeze a little bit. You don't need globs of glue. That's just gonna make a mess on your hands. It could get all over the front. It could slide out all over the place and make your border look messy. Just a little bit of glue there. Now I'm gonna cut this out. Okay, so again, put it where it's gonna go. And I think I could do one last layer, but I don't want it to go way too far into the background. I wanna see the background. Honestly, I'm gonna cut this orange layer a little slimmer because it's already hanging too into the background for me. I don't want it to be too much. I wanna see that beautiful background we worked on. So you could always cut your layers thin too. Um, so I'm going to cut this layer even thinner. Okay, be careful not to get stuff on your face while you're working. I'm going to lay it down. Okay, so when we glue this, we're going to glue it so that it's 3D, it's elevated. So you're going to go up to the front and you're going to get three caps that match. So I could get three of these little white caps here. I could put two on the shoulders and one on the top. If yours is really big, excessively big or weighty, you could find another cap to support the center, but this should be enough, these three. I'm going to find maybe these milk caps, two on the shoulders, one on the top. And what I'm going to do to glue this cap is I'm going to do an, a border around the base, not inside on the edge. I'm going to flip and stick down. I'm going to do another border, flip and stick down. I'm going to do another border, flip and stick down. Now we're going to put some glue on this cap. Again, not excessive, just a dot, not a lot. You don't want the glue to go all over the place. And then when we glue it down, figure out where you want it to go best. Hold for 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, actually. I'm not even gonna press because I don't want you to get your messy fingers on it. Just like I don't wanna get my messy fingers on mine. Okay, and then we have our finished semi three-dimensional relief portrait. So we have that three dimension that elevates our portrait out, reusing a material like our bottle caps. Um, we have our background all sturdy there and finished and we have our portrait. Now make sure your name's on the back. At the end of class, I'll tell you where it goes on the drying rack. Um, and we can start our new unit next week. Um, so have a wonderful art class. Um, once it's glued, it's going to be a little wiggly. Once it's dry, you won't have that issue. So I was going to hold it up, but I can't. So we're going to carefully take it to the drying rack. Um, just make sure it's positioned on the drying rack the way that you want it to go. And here's my portrait. Have a wonderful art class and I'll see you next time.